Hello, I'm Jurgen Wolf. I've been a professional writer for about 25 years, and I'm the author of these two books, Your Writing Coach and Your Creative Writing Masterclass. And today I'm going to share some writing tips with you. In this video, I'm going to share some ideas about how to write an editorial. An editorial is different from a news article because it expresses an opinion. It's trying to persuade you about something. It may be trying to persuade you to vote for one party or the other, or it might be about some element of climate change. They want you to take certain actions or not, or it might propose some new plan. But basically, it's taking a position about an issue that is of importance and that's timely. Often, it's in a separate section of the newspaper. And usually, it isn't signed, so it's the editorial board of the newspaper that has agreed that this should be written. However, there are some variations in format. Uh, this is one uh, which is called the editor's letter, and so you actually see the picture in the name of the editor, but the content is very similar to the traditional kind of editorial. When it's trying to persuade you, it backs it up with some facts. So usually, if, be, if you're writing an editorial, you start with perhaps a somewhat provocative or interesting statement about the, the issue, and then get quickly to what your position is on it, and then you find out the facts that will support your argument and you list those. Now you also give a bit of space to the opposition, to what they're saying and how they're trying to persuade people the other way. And sometimes it's useful to give them some credit for some part of the issue. In other words, uh, to say, well, they're right about this, but they're wrong about most things. And that makes you at least appear to be a bit more reasonable and open-minded, and it might win over more people. The final part of an editorial is the paragraph in which you kind of wrap up the argument and bring everything to a nice close. So to try to do that right now with you, what I'm going to do is summarize how to write an editorial. You pick a position on an important timely matter. You support that position with facts. You take into account what the opposition is saying, maybe give them credit for one little piece of the argument, but basically show how they're wrong. And then you wrap it all up in a concluding paragraph. And that's how to write an editorial.